I have to go back. <sighs> Second, neutral. But for anyone that says that it doesn't matter how short you are, it, it matters. When it comes to this stuff, it matters. About to rain soon. You know, in recent years, I found myself always relying on GPS. Um, and I enjoy GPS, you know, you kind of switch off. You switch off and you just uh, explore and then you know you're always going to be right on track because the GPS will remind you. Um, but today I decided I wanted to just switch it off and see, see, where, see where the ride takes me. So there's a very strict no-touch rule, but I want to get in close to show you the size of this exhaust. This is Skooka Farm, and just here they make chocolate, and it looks so delicious. Skuka Farm and Estate covers 250 rye of plantation land in the Mayon district of Chiang Mai. Created in 2016, the goal of this family-owned business was to create high-quality agricultural and handicraft products served direct to the customer, such as handmade chocolate, bakery, tea, apparel and quality coffee, with the focus being on organic, forest-grown, preservative-free and single-origin products. You can get fresh coffee here and um, it is fabulous. I'd expect to pay a little bit of money. What an incredible, pristine collection of classic cars. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Very, very nice. Look at that MG. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can see your face in this. It's so shiny. Absolutely beautiful setup. Interestingly, I believe I met the founder, Mr. Anthony McDonald, back in 2011. A friend worked for a local newspaper and we went along to a classic car event and ended up at one member's beautiful home, along with a few others, containing an incredible collection of classic cars, which I think are the same ones now displayed on this farm. In fact, I'm 90% sure it's the same person. How bizarre to think I've already seen many of these vehicles over a decade ago. Triumph for sale. Look at that, guys. Triumph for sale. 1975. 1,400,000 baht. There you go. You can own. You can own yourself a classic Triumph. Yeah, the British... can smell 
the old classic. My father used to have old um, Jaguars. I'm actually not a fan of Jaguars. And it smelled like this, I remember. That kind of musty leather smell. Oh, that's so fabulous. Look at that, 007, eat your heart out. Fabulous. Those are beautiful dashboards. MG is so cool. Skuga Estate and Farm is open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday and also offers a variety of workshops which you can find on their website at skugalife.com. Just 50 kilometers east of Shanghai City lies the small village of Mei Kampong in Meon District. With just 130 houses and under 400 inhabitants, this picturesque village is a popular local tourism spot. Known for its unusual cafes which line the Mei Lai River, Mei Kampong's twisty steep roads and lush green forestry make this a great destination ride. One highlight worth visiting is Wat Kantak Puksa, a stunning temple in the heart of Mei Kampong. Past Mei Kampong village is a very tight, twisty, narrow and rather slippery route to Kulam, which is an elevation of 1,517 metres above sea level. Being on this BMW 310GS meant that it was a little bit more precarious than I would have liked. to go back. Just as I was about to reach the peak, there were a few warning signs out and I figured because of the climate right now, it's rainy season and actually Typhoon Yagi has been ravishing its way through Southeast Asia, causing a lot of flooding and issues etc. With it being rainy season and rain clouds looming i figured i'll just turn around and go back the way that i came um because it's yeah it wasn't worth it i, I if i was on my d tracker my 250 cc i it, it wouldn't have been so much of a concern but this is a very heavy expensive bike and it doesn't belong to me talking of which i just want to say a thank you to big bike tours thailand for lending me this bike for one month i can't believe it, it was so nice of them um, I think it's been, you know, about one month, yeah. I haven't been able to ride it much due to the weather and other commitments, but I've been really grateful to have had the opportunity to test it out.
most of my rides out always include some kind of coffee stop and luckily Chiang Mai has a plethora of amazing coffee shops. Today's find is tucked away on the outskirts of Mei Kampong. Now it needs to be mentioned that there is in fact a lot of negative reviews on Google Maps about this cafe and I must confess that the reception was rather lukewarm but actually I personally found what I bought that the prices were reasonable and I really enjoyed the food. I ordered one soda water and shrimp fried rice with egg and the total cost was 150 baht. There is also some really pretty looking accommodation on site but I didn't make inquiries about the cost. You can contact them via their Facebook page, email or telephone number. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Check out my website at motorgirlthailand.com which contains a whole host of great things to see and do including GPS digital map guides. Thanks so much and see you next time.